Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Yorim C Let's Play. So last episode we built this building and uh, we're staring at right now. And uh, this is pretty much like a community resource building or free resources or whatever building where, you know, players will eventually be able to come here and easily grab materials, say from, you know, like slime balls, like from my slime and wow, that chest opens up the door. I never realized that because I forgot that this is a trap chest. It won't do it on this end because this is a normal chest. But yeah, maybe I'll fix that. Maybe I won't. It's not really a big issue. It's not like, well, someone could technically trap themselves behind there. I guess I should put pressure plates down there, like uh, behind there in case anyone traps herself behind there. But yeah, anyways, remember that kind of billboard idea I had for this place? Well, I went ahead and put it on. I pretty much uh, did some quick photoshopping, made one that looked, you know, nice and ish and so on. Just pulled a random screenshot, totally random by the way, and <laughs> out of my uh, screenshots, Minecraft screenshots folder, that's the background, and just got some fonts off of, uh, what is it, like, textcraft.com, is, I for, I don't think that's, it may be it, I don't know, I'll probably link it in the description or pop it up on screen right now about, you know, like, which website it is for the font. Then after I did all of that, I faded it out and put the coming soon on it. So yeah, we'll see the we'll see this image in f its full glory and of later on once this thing is actually done. But yeah, I haven't actually done much landscaping or really any landscaping around here. Like I said, I was considering to do. But on the other hand, I have built most of the item sorter back here. Uh, pretty much the bulk of it is in place now. And let's see. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tricky to get around here because of the limited amount of room, but yeah, pretty much, pretty much uh, all I need to do is just extend, like, place these hoppers along here, then extend this hopper chain over here, and hook it up. That's pretty much it at this point. Though, still, you know, we gotta get the, uh, we pretty much have to get, like, a massive item transport system in place, and so before, and so we can, you know, hook it up to that and so on. Who's that? Um, flip chan. Oh, flip. Ch I don't even know because I'm trying to pronounce <laughs> pronounce the numbers. So whatever. But yeah, flips up fair seams and such. And I don't know if I ever went over this, but I s it, it, the patch was the update's kind of old at this point. But um, pretty much people when they got PVP toggled on and so on, uh, it'll show it in tab in red and such. It also does bring up uh, one other thing. I'm actually considering, like, maybe, what, what if, you know, I did, like, a week or a month where I had to play with PvP enabled. And, you know what, that could make uh, recordings kind of interesting because then, of course, people are going to want to come and kill me. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. And if we could do that in the future, but... Yeah, is he talking to me? Hey, Duke, uh, hello. I'll just say hello back. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to chat and uh, what's going on here. I'm trying to talk and such. But, yeah. Uh, another thing is, for some reason, this system right here, like our auto smelting system, completely broke and failed to redistribute the items properly. I do not know why at all. Um, I'm wondering if maybe some, you know, well, actually, I believe I checked it and there wasn't any, but it's just like, the items just don't get distributed proper to, properly. It's almost like when it's, when it goes to drop the items, uh, you know, like, 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 uh, turn off the redstone signal to allow the items to drop. It's almost like an item is in between, uh, jumping between two hoppers and so on and, uh, it doesn't get sucked down, so it's kind of weird. And then that goes to the end and activates the entire thing early. It's it's weird and so on. I thought maybe the repeater I added caused it, but then I went back to just the redstone torch and such, and ah, uh, it still doesn't work. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's exactly causing that, but I have smelted up tons and tons of glass and so on. I got tons and tons of stone bricks. So let's actually get into what we're going to do for this episode. And that is, well, um, over there I'll talk about that later, likely. It's pretty much just a little experiment I was doing. Um, but pretty much today we are going to be finishing up, not really finishing up, but building the rest of the trench structure. Pretty much, you know, the walls and the arches and all the glass on here. 
that's all going on today. So, yeah. And also, I thought, you know what? This would make an excellent time lapse. And I actually went ahead beforehand to see, you know, if Camera Studio Mod was updated. And there is a version for 1.8, luckily. Though it actually seems like the developers uh, halting development on Camera Studio. So that's that's a bit disappointing. But I can actually do this, you know, as a third person time lapse and, and also have the camera move around and pan around and so on. Don't know how well that's going to work because I kind of have to, you know, uh, make sure I'm telling it to say, uh, you, you know, make sure I'm, make sure I got enough time to build build the theme before the camera pans out of view or whatever. But I'm sure I'll think of something. But yeah, actually, there's one more thing I'd like to go ahead and show you and talk to you about. Okay, so that one more thing is pretty much over here. Like I built this kind of test arch just to get an idea of, you know, how it would look, because pretty much, uh, I, w I needed to, you know, go ahead and build this, like, on a corner, or, like, you know, in between, you know, uh, like, like, here is, like, pretty much where the ar arch is, because before, um, let me just, let me just, uh, oh boy, what am I trying to say, let me just get, go back to the beginning, pretty much these arches right here are all 11 blocks apart, if we did the same here, then some arches we would have going across, you know, like right here, and then the glass would be going across in kind of an awkward position there. So pretty much I've spaced these arches 12 blocks apart and so on. Well, you know, I got my markers 12 blocks apart. And, you know, we'll do the transitional thing here for the glass right there. So it's no sort of weird thing and so on. But there is one little thing, um, you know, to make the... To make the fiend overall look better, I thought, you know what, you know, for the co corners here, want to add, like, imagine if this is a full stone block and so on, like a full stone brick block. Um, you know, add an extra block there, and it, you know, it, it look, make it look a little bit better. But, the more and more I'm looking at this, and the more and more, you know, like, we have glass hanging over here, which is, you know, the design of the arches are made to avoid that. I'm thinking, what we're going to do is just, you know, um do it where the glass is like this with the system so yeah it kind of looks weird i don't know if um you know pr pretty much i'm just gonna do it that way and if it bothers me enough in the future i can always add on the extra glass and you know the extra corners to this thing no problem but yeah anyways on with the time lapse
Well, there we go. The roof of our trench here is finally complete. Oh my goodness, this thing took so long to do over the last couple days on and off, mostly on. I've been working on this thing, recording the time lapse and so on, and building it. My goodness, this was really tiring to build. Like, really tiring because it's just a lot of repetitive building right along here and so on. But yeah, that pretty much means like the main shell of the base is in place now. So, yeah, that that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Um, on a side note, one thing is, remember how I, like in my test wall or like shell model and so on, I had like uh, pillars going up to like the center where it would be like a central area of some sort. Yeah, about that. Really, after doing that time lapse and doing all this, I'm just like, at this point, I'm just like, my goodness. I've done this much work for the show. I haven't even filled it in with stuff and so on and made it actually, you know, look good inside. That is one thing, like on the inside, I gotta uh, make the walls look a lot better and so on. And give it a floor and so on. And make everything look really good. And you know what, I should probably take advantage of bushes because that's why I built in this biome was for the grass and bush color and so on. But, yeah, pretty much I'm not really sure if we're ever going to do those pillars to, to the central area or not. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, we, we can do it eventually if we wanted to, but it's just like, yeah, after doing all that, I'm just like, maybe I've dug myself into something a little bit too big here and maybe I should sail back a bit, but yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, what else was I wanting to talk about? Oh, uh, earlier in the episode where I mentioned, uh, about, you know, turning on, about, like, uh, doing, like, a week or a month of, you know, where I keep PvP turned on for myself, and where you could come and kill me if you so wished, which I'm sure everyone would wish to, and such. Well, I'm kind of curious. Are you guys interested in such a thing? And now, you know, you also gotta keep in mind, currently... Grief prevention will protect my item drops when I'm killed. Doesn't matter if I was killed in PvP combat or not. It's going to protect them. And so on. And I can't exactly fi fix that because it's pretty much like I can either turn it on with item protection, which it's currently on, or I can turn it off. And a lot of people complained about other people stealing their items when they die. Died from monster or something and so on. And that's why I originally turned the feature on. In fact, when it was originally added to grief prevention, I turned it off. I thought, this is stupid. Why would I ever want this? And then people started complaining. I'm just like, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not not everyone's, you know, nice and willing to give back items that they find on the ground from the person that died and such. But, yeah. Despite that, and if, you know, you'd still pretty much be able to kill me, but wouldn't be able to get my drops. You know, if I did that, I could do it to where I'm just like... Okay, if you kill me, then I'll run the command slash unlock drops and give you my drops. We could do it like that. So what do you want? PvP with, you know, drops locked. PvP without drops locked. I'm assuming that's what you want. Um, or no PvP at all for like a month or a week and so on. And yeah, that might be kind of interesting during recordings. I'd just be randomly doing something or talking about something that someone's going to initiate a PvP battle with me. But yeah... That's just a little thought, you know, if something to spice things up and such. But, yeah. Oh, and on a side note, um... Oh, hello, zombie. Yeah, you can't get to my villager. On a side note, and of, uh, recently I have been, you know, my, uh... Well, pretty much ends of my Mindplex, ends of my Mindplex, like, uh... Minigame series has pretty much returned and so on. And pretty much, like, uh, me and Az went ahead and recorded a few episodes and... Pretty much, uh, one of them's already been uploaded, the next one's gonna be uploaded this Saturday, then the next one after that's gonna be uploaded this Saturday. I'm not gonna guarantee it that I won't put the series on pause again, but I may very well do so, because, well, you know, um, it's just like, I got so many projects, I mean, let's just, like, my YouTube videos, like, I, I consider a project in a sense, you know. Uh, the server is a project, I gotta maintain it. Then there's, like, also the, you, you know, your MC 2.0, that's a project, and so on, and such. And it's just like, uh, 
All this stuff takes a lot of time, like a lot, a lot of time. Oh, and there is one thing, I still have to technically smooth this area out right here, like the inner glass right there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it for now, though. But, yeah. <clears throat> one other thing is uh, the item transport system in here. Still got no idea what I'm going to do for that. Um, before, over there, that kind of like wooden area platform thing. That is where I was cons like that was like pretty much just like a little sliver like a test to see what you know what I could do here in in terms of uh, designs and so on and I personally I think it's awful I mean it's way too dark and really it, it needs to come along with doing something with the walls these walls need to be spiced up and so on and such but yeah. Anyways, guys, at this point, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm actually going to end this episode off here, just simply because that time lapse took a lot of freaking time, and actually, it's Tuesday right now. i got to get this episode out tomorrow, and if I'm going to get it out tomorrow, i got to end it off here and edit it and so on, and that time lapse, that, that time lapse was made up, like, I recorded six hours of clips. I mean, I know in the end they're all going to be fed up, and I'm going to cut, cut out a few and so on. Uh, for the sake of the time lapse, but my goodness, that's not gonna, that's gonna take a lot while to edit, so, yeah. <sighs> In order to get this video out tomorrow, I pretty much have to end it here now. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Anyways, guys, until next time, I will see you all later. Bye. One feat I forgot to mention is during that time lapse, someone actually came over and gave me two dogs, which as you can see, I've since breed and bred them and so on. In fact, you know what? Let's breed them again and such. Um, pretty much, for the longest time, no one could find any dogs on the server. It was like, uh, let's see, you need some food. Yeah, there we go. But, yeah. Like, for the longest time, no one could find any dogs on the server. But pretty much this one person um, cleared out, I don't know if they if they were the only ones that cleared this out, but like, cleared out a forest, like I assume a taiga forest and so on, and pretty much got everyone else online to log off and for a bit, and three dogs spawned in, and from there, and of that person, you know, went, went ahead, bred them, and then using the give pet command, gave dogs to other people, and gave me these dogs and so on. So, yeah, I believe that person was Flip, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't know, I may be misremembering this and so on since I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. But yeah, so we now have dogs thanks to Flip, so that's really nice.